Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We are off to Wellington for today's daily challenge where we will have double roundabouts and beyond that, weekly choices. Well, they're a mystery. Who knows what we're going to get? We will hopefully, presumably, at some point, get some of those double roundabouts. But other than that, we don't fucking know anything. Let us send some very special thank yous out first to... It's not the best choice. Smilla double underscore, but also... It's not the best choice. M. Pizarro. Smilla double underscore and M. Pizarro both followed while we were off stream. Thank you to both of them for that. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. I hope the folks who stuck around for last night's Final Fantasy VI stream enjoyed as well. I would be mm, lying if I said that that was the most coordinated, directed, or planned out stream I've ever done. But hey, we hung out on the Velt for a while, and then we realized hanging out on the Velt would take forever. And then we hung out on an island for a while, and then we realized that hanging out on that island to get to uncurse the Cursed Shield would take forever so listen it's fine we did some fun stuff we're gonna do more fun stuff next tuesday next tuesday is the finale we're going into the final dungeon we're beating kefka we're presumably doing other things like i here's the thing i've played final fantasy 9 and I know that Final Fantasy IX touted itself as a return to the olden days of Final Fantasy. So anything that happened in Final Fantasy IX, I kind of expect to happen in one way or another in Final Fantasy VI. Specifically, I expect out of nowhere, some weird creature we've never seen or only barely seen hinted at to show up and say, Brahaha, you fools, defeating Kefka was my master plan all along. Now I, Garlemarsha, the ultimate murder monster of the entire cosmos, will smush you. And, and then the true final boss, is us against Garlemarsha, or something like that. That sounds like a thing that could happen in Final Fantasy VI. All right, let's see here. We've got not one, but two red businesses with which to deal. You come out over here. We're gonna Oh, excuse me. We're going to take these red houses down here. They're going to come up like so into this business. This business, I don't have as catchy a plan for. You're going to just be there and service that. You, no, don't bridge there. You need to come down here and do that. There. That kind of sort of works a little bit, maybe. I'd really like it if we got one more red to spawn up here. If one more red house wanted to spawn up here, we could like chop this and redraw this to get both of these onto this road. That would be, that would be fine. Shotgun Splicer was here first today. Good morning, Shotgun Splicer. Sunflare Space is here. Saw Trombone Dalek as well. Hail, hail, the gang's all here and all of that. Oh, goodness. So, on Monday, I was supposed to have one of those lovely hang around and do nothing days, which my work sometimes has. But then, uh, someone had internet problems and they needed me to jump into a deposition and it turned into the worst job of my career with this company. Not through any of my own fault, but it was just very testy and very argumentative and very, ah. And then yesterday I had a job, but today I once again have a sit around and do fucking nothing day, which is, it, it's a good fun day. Those are good days. Here, we've got a blue double plaza up here 
and a motorway right here. Can you see what we're doing here? For the moment, oh, never mind, fuck that moment. That moment has ended. Yep, that moment has ended pretty much as soon as it began. <laughs> never mind, you remember that moment? To hell with that moment, that moment doesn't exist anymore. That's nice, sun flares. Did they, was it like one of those uh, little fabric tape measures? Because when I started reading that sentence, I ordered a pair of shoes and they sent me a tape measure. I'm like, what? But no, they send just a, a little fabric tape measure so you know your exact measurement, so you get the, the red size clothing. That's nice. That's cute. This red business down here continues to be fine. You will be a circle. That's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a cheap way to build brand loyalty and get repeat customers. It's like when a realtor sends you a refrigerator magnet with a calendar on it after you buy a house. <laughs> Not similar, but more practical in this instance. You will probably get more use out of your little retractable tape measure than I have gotten out of the uh, refrigerator magnet calendar that my realtor sent me. And definitely, here's the thing. There are realtors who won't even, who will just send you refrigerator magnet calendars to entice you to buy houses from them. And that's like, come on lady, wh what are we doing here? You got, I gotta buy the house first. Good morning, parlor ghost. Always happy to have parlor ghost alongside. Let's all um, stand in silent agreement that parlor ghost has gotten up early this morning and is not just still awake. I, listen, no shade. We're happy to see Parlor Ghost. <laughs> Good morning, Ghosty. Hope you're doing well. Uh, this intersection here is bad. Can we replace it with a roundabout? I mean, there's no reason we can't. Yeah, sure, let's roundabout that. I didn't necessarily mean to throw shade. It just kind of fell out there. You come up here, and we're gonna run these two yellows up into this yellow business. Hey, we got another motorway. That's good. If we wanted to, we could do something about these greens, maybe motorway them up that way, get rid of this roundabout. That's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Probably not the one we're gonna go with, but it continues not to be a bad idea. Hmm. The U3 yellows are servicing this. This is the one and only reds. God, reds are just a nightmare today. Absolutely awful. Everywhere you look, you got red businesses being fuckers. All right, fine, here. You enter the roundabout thusly. You southern spur the roundabout down into this plaza. That'll get, I mean, now we have two houses supporting two businesses, which is just, so bad. It's just so bad. All right, you get onto that road. You might as well just get onto that road here. This is a terrible intersection, but it, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Here, give me something that fixes all of this. 44 road tiles and a dark blue business. That, that doesn't... It doesn't actually solve anything. All right, you've gone circular, which is amazingly also bad. There's so many bad things happening right now. All right, let's put a roundabout right here. If we put a roundabout right here, then we can figure some shit out. Greens come in from there. Reds go in from there. Greens and reds come out here up that away. Dark blues come out here. You can, nope. You can slide in just like that. Bingo, bango, bongo. You go up to here. Great. That will take care of everything except uh, this yellow circle. Also, incidentally, by the way, uh, this black business kind of mad, which that does make sense. I understand. Here, you come down into the roundabout. That'll be fine. You are not presently connected to anything. You are not presently connected to anything. I think those are both just gonna have to be fine. Let's see 
here. Uh, these blues can actually futz around up here and then down here, which will leave these yellows available to, if we grab you and then run down this way, well, we can maybe do something in the future with these three yellows now. That's a positive sign. You blues service that, that's okay. This yellow circle probably needs dudes. We're probably not happy with only having so many. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, look, two light blue guys and two light blue businesses. That's just fucking fantastic. I'm so happy that that exists. Here. Can I get one more light blue spawn? Yes, I can. Thank you. All right, you. Fuck. Okay. Uh, you two. Here. Can you two, you three take motorway number one over here, go over serve that business. Meanwhile, you two take motorway number two up here, serve that business. Okay, that's fine. Give me a tunnel, sure. I'll take a tunnel. It's probably the least useful thing I could have gotten in the moment, but we've got it. And that, I suppose, is what matters. Good lord. Okay. Gotta get yellows onto this road. So... Fuck. Best way to get yellows over to here is... To... Whine about their lack of presence. Nope. Cutting down that way doesn't help anything because we still have to deal with this square right here. So, shit. Obviously, that's the that's the thing we're going to say now. So, comma, dot, 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 ellipsis, shit. All right. Let's see here. Oh. Great. Just, just, just add more yellow torment, why don't you? All right. That's... Fine, I guess. Uh, fine, I guess, versus the ants is a good little short story. It's not, but... You come up here. You go in that away. Okay. So these two yellows service that yellow business. That's okay. This yellow circle is mad at stuff. I understand that. I can empathize. Unfortunately... The fuck am I gonna do about that? We're gonna have to make a horrible, bad intersection right down here. There's no other way to do this. So we just tunnel our way right here, and we just cut through here with no traffic light or nothing. Just, just make that terrible little intersection. Eventually, hopefully, I'll get a roundabout here, and that'll help, but... Right now, we just need to flood this yellow dude with yellow cars. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. You'll see. One day, when this is all fine, we'll look back at this terrible disaster moment and laugh. Right? That's what happens with terrible disaster moments. You, you look back at them and laugh. Maybe. I don't know. So, hey. If, uh, if next Tuesday is the final stream of Final Fantasy VIII, which it damn sure looks like it's gonna be, the question then fairly obviously becomes, what are we do- I just said Final Fantasy VIII, which we're not playing. We're not playing Final Fantasy VIII. I suppose I could play- I could entertain the thought of playing Final Fantasy VIII, but we're not presently playing Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, Sunflare Space asks what city this is. This is Wellington. Lovely Wellington, capital of New Zealand, I think. I think Wellington's the capital of New Zealand. It's a big, important city in New Zealand. You come all the way up here. You come down that way. You go out there like so. 
It's miserable and I love it. Yeah, Wellington is a very mean map. I think this was the first new map, like after the game came out. Um, Wellington was one of the first maps that got added and it is very much uh, the game designers being just a little bit mean. It's cruel. It's, um, listen, with all of the mountains here, you've got some very narrow spaces. You've got some choke points. You've got this fucking harbor, which is a pain in the ass to deal with. There's a lot going on here. So as I was saying, with, uh, with next Tuesday being the final stream of Final Fantasy VI, that means we have the question of what exactly comes next. And to answer that question, we have, I don't know. It's a, it's a good question. Here, you, you two need to get chopped off of that because you're going up over here. No, go off that way. You're fine. Go, yeah, you go here. Thank you. You uh, just hook down there so you're not totally awkward when you cut in that way. You come here. 62 road tiles now. Okay. So I've got plenty of road. You yellows are supplementing this yellow circle up here now. That's okay. These yellows are dealing with this. This terrible unmarked intersection is actually just kind of working somehow. I don't really know how, but I'm not going to look this gift horse in the mouth is basically where I'm at. You are an annoying green guy. I don't really like you, but I think we can actually make this work. Sort of. You... Well, you are a light blue guy who doesn't need to do anything, but you two greens come up here and then straight over there. So you two service that business. And that'll be completely and totally fine until the very moment at which this right here is revealed to be green. Once this right here is revealed to be green, everything is fucked actually. All right, you come here. You can have your very own personal road. Yeah, you can come up here. You can go straight into that business. Hey, you know what? That's kind of just a, a straight shot road. We uh, might not need to fuck around with putting greens through the roundabout anymore. If, if you two can just kind of take over and be the main support guys going up this way, I think we're happy with that. I think that's, that's very good, actually. But yes, this is a very mean map. Come here. Give me a motorway. Those are traffic lights. I didn't want traffic lights. Listen, traffic lights are just marginally more useful than road tiles right now. So, here. More reds for the red god. That's fine. Uh, the red god is how cavemen described periods before they learned biology. You come over here and go down that away. Something just went circular, and I don't know what it was. I think it was you. I think it's this red circle that's now a circle, which, I mean, that's a problem. I'm not a fan of it. I don't like that it exists. You come down here. You are definitely surplus to requirements now. This whole, like, this entire road, totally useless. You come up here. You restructure yourself such that you come this way. Come out that way. This red supplements this business. It's totally fine. Let us please ignore that these reds and these reds are technically on the same road network. We're not thinking about that right now. You need to point north. I don't know why you had been pointing south and spawning that away, but you need to point north. Okay. So you go there. We suddenly have a whole bucket of reds pouring in to this nonsense, which is good because we need a bucket of reds because we got a red here and a red here and a red here and a red here. It's a lot of reds. Not to mention the very likely possibility that one or the other of these two turns red, which uh, it, it, this being red would be fine, actually. This being red would be a-okay. Give me a bridge. Okay, now I have a bridge. Also, now I have a very angry light blue business over here. 
because this light blue business only has uh, three houses supporting it and a thousand mile motorway between it and its front door. So we should fix that is what I'm getting at. Let's start fixing that. The easiest way to fix that, like if I had a tunnel, I would finagle a way to get this cluster of light blue guys to just service that business and not use the motorway, but I don't have that. Instead, I have these light blue guys right here. These light blue houses are gonna swing in that away, and suddenly we have six light blue houses supporting this angry circle instead of three. That's like literally mathematically twice as many. So here, let's make it seven and eight. There, now there's eight. I'm, I'm not gonna fuck with you, I can't get you in there. We're not gonna make that nine. But still, the eight of you, you're gonna be great. You're gonna be A-OK. -okay. You are a green circle. I don't like you. I'm not a fan of you. Okay, this red business is starting to get angry because its primary support exists from, yeah, down south, which we don't like. You come up that away. You hook up there. Okay, all of my reds are mad at all of my other reds, actually. The people of Cincinnati are revolting. Also, they're leading a rebellion. You come over to here. This this is just a clusterfuck. Oh my god. I keep trying to lead a conversation about what, what we're going to do after Final Fantasy VI, and it keeps having a lot of danger points. So, listen, there's going to be a poll. There's going to be some games in it. It's going to be some games that haven't been in polls before because I keep acquiring new games. I keep having the impulse to acquire new games. I'm, I'm contemplating just putting I will buy Baldur's Gate 3 and play it in the poll, which is basically just, I should just unilaterally impose that if I'm gonna put it in the poll, because I feel like it would win. But you know, people are weird. You can never predict how, how a vote will go. Uh, you, huh, all right, this black business right here, is mm, bad. Yeah, this black circle is kind of mm, fucked. You come up this way. You go right there. You come up to here. That's okay. Listen, Ghosty, if you put it in my hands right now, I would just like stream Final Fantasy 12, a game that's twice as good as Final Fantasy 6. It's not, but I like it more. Um, that's, that, that's not a thing that would go well. You... You <laughs> Shotgun Splicer wants to see it. She's like, Cooper, which I it would go badly from the metrics of number going up making brain feel better. But you know, that's not the end of the world, and maybe I'm wrong about that. You go that away. Give me a give me a motorway, please. No, that's a tunnel. That's a different, possibly also useful thing. Okay. So we have a tunnel. Now that we have a tunnel, here's what I can do with this tunnel. I can make this red network make the tiniest bit more sense. Because rather than go down here and complicate the nonsense over here, these reds can just go, no, these reds can just go straight into that roundabout. Okay, that's gonna be better. This roundabout is still the roundabout that's gonna kill everything. So, listen, it's not the absolute best thing we could do, but it's fine, sort of. We still don't have anything for these black houses to do. We still don't have anything for this black business to be saved by. So, we're still almost certainly doomed. But, you know, there was the word almost in there. <sighs> you there. What are you doing? Why is Edward James almost here? Alright, you... These yellows are just gonna pull double duty and save this business. That's gonna be fine. These reds are mildly on fire right now. They're just kind of smoldering a little bit. It's it's okay. It's It's fine. Here, you... 
come over that away. You swing down here and up there somehow. Uh, do we have reds coming? In? No, this, yeah, this double plaza. Listen, you get two circles in a parking lot and it's gonna fall apart eventually, no matter what you do. So 2,162 commuters doesn't feel like a terrible score. It feels like a score. Hey, top 5% in the world, we'll take that. We will absolutely take top 5% in the world. Samurai Sam is on vacation, so he was not able to do the daily challenge. How dare he have a personal life and family and recreation? What is that man thinking? So by default, drop some GG's in the chat and let's play Wordle. Oh, goodness. Goodness gracious, great balls of stretch. Let's see. We'll start with great. It's a great starting word, or at least a fine one. It's got vowels and common consonants in it. It's really all you need, isn't it? Let's see here. So there's an R and an E, but they're not where we put them, which is fine. They could be in other places. For instance, it could be force. It's not, but up until that very moment, it could have been. Uh, it also could have been perch. We could have tried perch, but force got us to the green R and E. So that's useful. Uh, it could be, mm, Mark. Now there's the small problem that Mark, not a word, but you know, other than that, other than that, I think it's totally fine. So, there's no A, there's no O. There could be another E. It's not verge, because we know there's no G. Uh, it could be verse. Absolutely. I was very excited for a moment there. And then, well, now I'm just confused. <laughs> Hold on. Is it Verve? I thought Verve had an I. I thought Ver. Hola. All right, let's 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 word this out. Not a word. 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 Verp. Not a word. Verde. Like, are we just French for green? French for greed is not a good fucking wordle word. I would have thought that, ver I really thought verve was V-I-R-V-E, but here, let's go verve. Fucking double V word. Good God, wordle. That's mean. A double V word. You bastard, wordle. That's awful. I love it. Somehow we've managed to do a daily challenge and a wordle in less than half an hour so we can flail pathetically at yesterday's immaculate grid to wrap it up. Oh, God. Verve. That's a mean one. Listen, everybody's being mean today. Mini Motorways has us going to Wellington with mini mysteries? Awful. Wordle has a double V word? Awful. All right, let's see here. Someone who played for the Chicago White Sox and had 500 home runs in their career. I, I once again did see someone's grid yesterday, so I'm trying not to repeat dudes, which means I can't use Manny Ramirez for this square. Manny Ramirez fits this square. Uh, instead, we're gonna use Jim Tomei for that square. Boom. Jim Tomei also fits this square, but you know, other people do as well. For instance, Sammy Sosa played for the Baltimore Orioles and he had like, Sammy Sosa would also fit this square for that matter. Sammy Sosa fits both of these squares. Remember Pedro, sadly, Pedro Martinez did not play, play for any of these teams. So his utility in the Immaculate Grid is mm, low, but hey. All right, someone who had 40 home runs in a season and 500 or more in their career is, I mean, damn near anyone who had 500 homers in their career, really. Uh, 
The only guy I'm not positive is Hank Aaron. I don't know if Hank Aaron ever had a 40 homer season. Hank Aaron's deal was that he hit like 30 some odd homers every year for a century. So yeah, we're, we're not gonna say Hank Aaron. Instead, we're gonna say Alex Rodriguez. Sure. Alex Rodriguez fits the category under 10% usage. That's nice. All right. Let's see here. An Anaheim Angel who had 400, or 40, not 400 homers in a season, 40 homers in a season is Mike Trout, arguably the bestest baseball player there ever was. A Houston Astro who had 40 homers in a season, uh, we'll just say Jeff Bagwell. There are more obscure choices, but Jeff Bagwell's the nice, simple, easy one. Big mashing first base type. All right, now we get to the hard part, which is guys and teams. They're just a bunch of crazy guys and teams. Okay. Good Lord. Let's see here. So we got Astros, White Sox, Orioles, and Angels. Okay. Angels and White Sox is Darren Erstad. Darren Erstad played for both of those teams. Good. Angels and Orioles is... Was Sean Figgins ever an Oriole? I don't think so. No, I'm not sure that he was. Okay. Bill, Trevor, and Sanchez. Now, Bill Miller was a baseball player, but I only know him as having played for... Actually, I think he played for the Astros. But I don't think he played for the White Sox or Orioles. And he played for the Red Sox, and that doesn't help much. Trevor Hoffman, I know as a former Padre, so that's not helpful. Uh, Freddy Sanchez, we've talked about before on the channel. He was a tiger and stuff so minimal utility there but hey we'll, we'll work it out let's see mark hendrickson was an oriole but i don't remember anything else that he did rafael palmero was an oriole but he also spent the bulk of his career with the rangers zach Greinke was an astro but he never played for the white Sox or orioles um Craig Biggio was an Astro for his whole career. Lance Berkman was an Astro, among others. Frank Thomas played for the White Sox, but not the Astros. Ozzie Guillen played for the White Sox, but not the Astros. Jack McDowell played for the White Sox, but not the Astros. Wilson Alvarez played for the White Sox, but not the Astro. Aaron Seeley, I think, played for the White Sox, but not the Astros. How sure am I that Wilson Alvarez was never an Astro? Mmm, fairly. Oh, God. Roger Clemens played for the Astros, but neither of those other teams. Juan Gonzalez played for the Red Rangers. Jim Palmer played for the Orioles, but I don't think he fits either of these. Um, Steve McMichael is a wrestler, actually. Also a football player. Very successful football player. Mildly successful wrestler. Um, hmm. Let's see here. I am making this harder than it needs to be. Mark Langston fit the category? I know he was an angel. I feel like he was an Oriole. It's kind of a weird pull. Am I right about that? I don't think I'm right about that. The more I think about that, the less confident I am in that. Hmm. Let's see here. Zach Britton played for the Orioles, but... I don't think he was an Angel or an Astro. Garrett Cole played for the Astros, but not the White Sox or the Orioles. Oof. David Eckstein was an Angel, but that's it. Miguel Tejada played for the Orioles, but I only know him as being an athletic beyond that. used your box and you want me to clean your box because now there's poop in your box because a cat just used your box, don't you? I know what you're thinking. I'll get to it later. Good God. How am I this bad at game? I've gotten six here, but they were the five easy ones and Darren Erstad. 
Babe Ruth didn't play for any of these teams. Burt Blylevin might fit. Was Jim Palmer an angel? I feel like Jim Palmer was an angel. I could be wrong about that. I don't think Nolan Ryan was an Oriole. God, I, uh, we're gonna save Jim Palmer just to move this along and be wrong about stuff. Hey, look, I'm wrong about stuff. Jim Palmer was never an Oriole. All right, was I right about Mark Langston? That was a, a weird pull. Hey, Mark Langston also wrong. Good job. Good job. Okay. <laughs> well, shit. Um, was Octavio Dotel on the White Sox? I don't think so, but I do think he was on the Orioles. So, here. Octavio Dotel. I, I was so... So very wrong about stuff. <laughs> so we got six, and then we agonized. And then we were just wrong and wrong, and then wrong again. And as such, we failed. But hey, failure is part of life, or something. No no immaculate grid is ever actually immaculate. Hey, who would have fit this this awful category? No, show summary. Who who would have fit this? All right, I missed like 78 here, 95 here, 119 here. So good work. Oh, Jose Abreu. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, Jose Abreu was on the White Sox until this past offseason when he signed with the Astros. Yeah, that makes sense. Trey Mancini was on the Orioles until last year when he got traded to the Astros. And Mark Trumbo, yeah, okay, there are no ultra-famous players who have met both of these criteria, but yeah, I've heard of Mark Trumbo. I remember a Mark Trumbo. All right, listen, not everything can be perfect, okay? But speaking of, I don't know, good, hopefully, later today, there is a new episode of Final Fantasy VI on YouTube. We will be back. Uh, actually, we will not be back tomorrow morning, will we? I have an in-person job tomorrow, and I think my in-person job tomorrow precludes me from doing uh, from doing Gim -M 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 tomorrow. Let me uh, let me double check that. Yeah, I have to be I have to be in Connecticut at nine. Nora, stop knocking things over. Yeah, I need... Okay, cat's, cat's knocking over the shelf. No Gim -M 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 tomorrow. I'll be back uh, hopefully Thursday evening, but don't hold me to that for Detroit Become Human. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.